Transformers change the potential difference across a circuit is an interesting fact, but it doesn't explain why people want to know about them so much. Transformers come in all sizes, from ones that are tiny and sit inside microcircuits to huge ones that sit outside major metropolitan areas. All a Transformer does is change the potential difference across them. The question is, why do we want to do that? If you look around your house at electrical devices, you should be able to find labels that tell you the amp rating or current rating of your devices. On the central consumer unit or fuse box, you have separate circuits which go to different rated fuses or circuit breakers, depending on the current they are supposed to use. The devices that draw a bigger current tend to be devices that are used to heat objects. An electric shower will have a circuit all of its own and a high current device on it as it heats up water quickly. The electric oven will have a similar situation. The lighting circuits do not. Lights do not draw much current, because they are meant to light and not heat. The bigger the heat requirement, the larger the current required. Current generates heat in circuits. If you are transporting electricity from a power station to homes and businesses, you don't want to be heating the wires too much along the way. This is inefficient. The more efficient your transporting system, the less it costs you in fuel to produce. So when you are transporting your electricity, you want to keep current as low as possible. Potential difference and current are linked together by the power equation. Power equals current times potential difference. If you raise the potential difference, you will lower the current and keep the power the same. That is what transformers do. After the power station, the potential difference is stepped up to hundreds of thousands of volts in order to reduce the current. Near the user, a transformer steps down the potential difference to 230 volts in homes and higher for some businesses. The process of changing potential difference across a transistor isn't in itself 100% efficient. Transformers are very efficient devices, but they do lose energy as all devices do. The primary coil of the transformer generates an electromagnetic field in order to transmit the electrical energy to the secondary coil. The secondary coil has a current induced in it, which in turn generates a magnetic field which opposes the inducing field, from Lenz's law. These opposing fields repel each other and waste energy. In reality, these forces make the transformer vibrate at the same frequency as the alternating current supplied to the transformer, 50 Hz in Britain. It is this sound energy that is the greatest cause of inefficiency in a transformer. It can be minimised by tying the two halves of the transformer together tightly and reducing vibration. Transformers also heat up, causing more inefficiency. Even with these losses of energy, transformers are among the most efficient machines, with efficiencies of above 95%. To calculate the efficiency of a transformer, you use the equation efficiency equals power out divided by power in. The power into a transformer is the power across the primary coil, given by current times potential difference. The power out of a transformer is the power across the potential the secondary coil, given by current times potential difference. The full equation is efficiency equals power in secondary coil divided by power in primary coil, which equals secondary current times secondary potential difference divided by primary current times primary potential difference.